uh, prepare yourself. This is going to be a pretty rough video. Um, it's going to be some things said. Uh, I'm going to say trigger warning. Let's let's get into it. One for yes, two for no. I was supposed to give it back, but never made it. One for yes, two for no. I that he's around. I try to play it cool. But damn, I'm missing you. What if one, I one, told one, you, one, baby, one. I'm sorry? One, 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 one. Would you still be with me? Guess what, bro? You used to talk to me, bro. Okay, so before I continue, uh, <clears throat> the backstory here is that this young lady got upset with him and slapped him. Um, they had just met for a date and they got drunk. And after she slapped him, uh, this is what it led to. Okay, so I'll have to show it just this. We'll, we'll get past this part. Um, but here he maces her as you can see but this whole time she's being maced okay i don't want to show too much um it's pretty sickening but that's her being maced okay and then he goes to mace her in her face this time you can see right here he maces her right by her mouth and right by her eyes okay so what we're gonna do is listen to this part right after this with you stop trying to exploit random people by bringing them on stream and then verbally abusing them don't ever leave you fucking idiot. slam me in the what head bro i don't know you, you bro i swear to god i do not know you bro, do you need some milk i you? deserve it because i've been going through hell so i don't give a fuck what i go through this is gonna make me uh a little emotional hearing it again because once again trigger warning for this but I don't even have anything to add right now. So let's, let's just get to it. Let's listen to the young lady's words. Because I've been going through hell, so I don't give a fuck what I go through. If I want to die, and when I leave my fucking single daughter alone, then I will do it. So I'm going to fuck what I go through, because I want to die. I want to die in this fucking world. My daughter, she starts to be with somebody that loves her. So I don't give a Fuck, and you do whatever you fucking do because you want to fucking die in this world. This fucking pain that I have here, I've done it. I've done this fucking pain and I would do it forever. So I don't give a fuck. If I'm going to do this pain forever. Let me try to keep this in mind. <clears throat> this individual has been drinking. Once again, I told you, you can see the bottle over there. She's drunk. Which is why I, I don't want it to get confused with somebody who's just seeking attention. She's clearly covering her face, so she doesn't care. Um, she's obviously not saying this for any clout or anything to have people care about her because nobody can even see her face. She's literally knowing she's on camera, which is why she's covering her face. But she's also drunk. and We know when you drink alcohol, your IQ goes down, you get emotional, you get angry, you get upset. But I want to just um, say this, man, before we continue. Why film it? I just, I'm going to get so pissed off in this video. Y'all know I make these videos because I care about people. My videos are always about relationships and stuff like that. I just don't fucking get it, man. I understand. Okay, no, I understand that people get money hungry. But I, it, it just doesn't click to me to why I would ever exploit somebody when they're at the lowest point. Mace them in the face. Put them on my fucking stream just to get a couple likes. Maybe get a couple views. Maybe make some money. All to, all to exploit a person who wants to die? You know, people don't understand. When people are yelling out for help sometimes, people think when people do this shit, when they're yelling out, that I want to die. They think, oh, they're not going to do it. Oh, no. One day they do become silent. At first, they they, they scream it to the mountaintops. You don't think it's going to happen. The next thing you know, they're going to pretend it's all okay. They're going to pretend it's all great. It's all happiness. And then it's over. I'm sure you've been through this. I've been through this. 
You just never know when it's coming because you stop hearing the screams. You stop hearing them talk about it. And then eventually like all is good. And then you get that phone call or you get that text or you get that. You get that knock on the door. pain that I have and I'm done. I bleed myself to death. This pain that I've done. Erdan sent two dollars. You are an idiot. You are 100% canceled. Dead. Chat is over it. I've done we want to see you in jail. Permanently. I've, it's over I've Cheeto. Either give her $500 so now or pay the price. Because Yo. I've Yummy. I've cut Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> that's him playing the music by the way and she's dying here and crying dying on the inside and just crying her eyes out you okay you're literally fucking filming her this is no different than that video we saw. If y'all remember that one video of the young man who got cheated on and his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend filmed him breaking down and him having a meltdown and yelling. I don't get why people think, are you cool? You all right? Because now you heard what the thing said. The stream said that they were over it. So now he's trying to, you good? You okay? Psychopaths, man. <laughs> Have you ever heard anybody yell like that before? I've heard a few times in my life. There's this scream that people do when they just really, it's not, they, and like I said, it's not that they'll necessarily take their life right now, but that is a scream of, I do not know if I can keep going on. They may not take themselves away with a weapon, but they'll do drugs, they'll drink, some people overeat. Some people don't always take their life with a weapon. That's what a lot of people miss. Is when people want to take their lives, they think it's always going to be through a weapon. But that's just not true. Some people drug themselves to death. Some people drink themselves to death. Some people eat themselves to death. And some people just put themselves in situations where they know their life can get taken. Because these people don't necessarily want to go that route. They just want to keep forgetting and swallowing the pain until the lights are out. That's what happens to these people. She's already drinking. So it's a good assumption that she probably drinks like this quite a bit. Okay, so that's enough of that. Let's have the discussion right quick. <clears throat> I know I talk about in you know the IRL streamers. I talk about all these people all the time and how much they disgust me and stuff like that. But you know, I'm so, I harp so much on. Watch how you treat people because it's just fucking disgusting to me when I see people play pranks on people at Walmart, pranks on McDonald's, Starbucks, just normal people working their lives. And it's, it, it, I understand we grew, these kids have grown up in an age, and hell, I'm a millennial. We all, we all kind of grew up in this age where money, views, streams, likes, bit whatever the fuck it's all we care about we grow up in a world where fame can really be easily attained if you're willing to push the buttons for the people who aren't talented this is the route they go they know they have no talents they have they know they have no gifts and some people choose this route of destruction but understand this is these are sociopaths and then psychopaths who do this kind of stuff. The, these are the kind of people that if there was no camera, 
If there was no views, there was no streams, they'd find a way to torture people somehow, some way. These are the kind of people who may get in relationships with people just to break their hearts. We've seen that with women. We see men who do the same thing. They find a way. But now, people can use these moments to put it out there on a stream and just see what happens. We saw, we already know what happened with Fousey Tube. Okay, he was already kind of breaking his way out, but he, even in the midst of everything he was going through, decided to take somebody to the bathroom who said that they had been essayed. He did not care. We see what happened with Jack. All the fights he's done. We see what happens with the Neons. Even sometimes with the Aiden Rosses. This this money. <sighs> it has turned this place into a very. Uh, try to keep myself together. But it's just turned this world into a very hateful place. Very hateful. I hate people. I hate seeing so many people get hurt. That are a part of this world. They're not part of content creation. They're not part of streaming. They're not part of this shit at all. This shit means nothing to them. Just like we saw with this young lady who was talking about she don't care. She, she she's fine with having her life taken. She's fine with dying. She's fine with leaving her daughter with no mother. She doesn't. She's not part of this streaming world. But yet, here she is, being put on blast in front of everybody. And I'm sure her face was actually on the stream. We obviously came into the stream where we couldn't see her face. This is why, and I made a video the other day um, when I was talking. Actually, I made a video today. If you're watching this right now, I put a video up about the Twitch women. And we saw what happened with the Twitch streamer who got banned because she had a camera right on her ass, right? we see what's happened with OnlyFans, right? So women go to OnlyFans and show their bodies off or they go to Twitch and show their bodies off. What men do, men do this. This is the this is the extreme side for men. We already know we're more aggressive in these ways and stuff like that. Not to say that women can't be, but women are going to do more of the manipulating, the OnlyFans, the, hey, you're beautiful. Hey, can you give me this much money? Men are not going to go begging for money. What they're going to do is Make you want to watch them by doing the most sickening shit in the world. They don't care who gets hurt. They don't care what happens. Hell, we saw what happened with David. Um, what's his, you, that that famous YouTuber, David Bobrick or something like that, right? Him and John Nash, I believe his name was, the guy who got who got damn near died, broke his face and everything, and now he has like no money. What money does to people and what fame does to people and what streaming does to people. It's just a disgusting world. And I'm just finding it so hard. To be nice with these motherfuckers, man. I know it's because I get so fucking pissed off hearing. Oh, well, at least they're getting to the bag because I hear that shit all the time with the OnlyFans models. And I said it before and I said it again and I say it to women all the time. Y'all saw me had that conversation with the OnlyFans model not too long ago. I don't care about the money. I don't care if you make millions. I don't care if you buy Bugattis, Lambos. I don't give a fuck about any of that when you have to do it to hurt people. We, the only way you can do it is by having people get hurt and emotionally destroyed and mentally destroyed. I don't care. I don't care about any of that shit. At all. So when I come across these men who do these streams, and I've come across men on, I, if you remember, I've talked to young men about who, the men who sell uh, paraphernalia, men who sell poison. I've talked to them about the same shit. It's like, but I'm getting money. I'm like, but what about all the black men who are dying on the streets for them and shit? Huh? What, what about all these individuals who are losing their lives over the fucking stuff you sell them? But see, people don't care. Because what do they say? They go right to, well, they didn't have to, or they didn't have to do this, or you don't have to buy my OnlyFans. You don't have to. She didn't have to be on my stream, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with you that you can't sit back for just a couple seconds and think about somebody else besides yourself in this little, this money, this money. 
And I'm not here to say that money doesn't matter. But even if, you, t- to me, guys, even if you make millions off this kind of content, millions, it does not matter to me. I still see you as a sick individual. We see what's been happening around the world in the news. We don't have to go over it. But we see millionaires, billionaires doing the sickest shit to people. We saw what happened with the WWE guy. I'm not saying his name, but y'all know who he is. We saw what happened with the hip hop artist. Y'all know who he is. We saw what happened with the island. Y'all know who they are. This money doesn't mean anything. People are willing to. When evil takes over, this is what y'all see. This is why I warn you guys. You got to get a straight head. You got to get a good head on your shoulders before you walk into this content creation. Because at any moment, any one of you guys can hop on YouTube or Twitch or kick and blow up. And your life is forever changed. And then you're going to come, you're going to come to a moment where it's like the money either starts to decline or you realize the only way to keep it up is to keep pushing out content. And you have to make a decision. Do I push out content that I love that still benefits the people? Or do I keep pushing the boundaries so I can make sure my numbers are always up? And the question you really have to ask yourself is, am I willing to step on anybody's fucking throat to make money or to get popularity and fame? Is that all it's about for me? And if the answer is yes, if the answer ever becomes yes, you got to go get therapy. Because you've lost all humanity. You've lost touch. You no longer care about people. This place is a dangerous thing. We've seen what it's done to all these content creators. Some of them are walking away before it gets to that point. And some of them never made the choice to walk away. They end up in mental asylums. Some of them end up dead. We know about the YouTube, we know about the content creator who decided they wanted to make some stuff on the uh, cartel. He did. We know about other content creators that are dead. That got flown out to a certain country. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They're dead. We heard about the young model who had everything in front of her. Oh, she jumped off a balcony. These are the few stories that we know. God rest his soul to Etika. We saw Etika fall apart in front of our faces. All the way up to the point where he recorded up until the second he took his life. We saw it all happening in front of our face. This 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 world ain't for everybody. And I will never come on here and tell you guys this. Anybody can make content. Anybody can be a streamer. Anybody can be YouTuber, Twitch streamer, kick streamer. But it is not for everybody. Everybody can't handle this. Because the second they get that fame or they get that viral moment, I just don't believe a lot of people can handle it. Because they don't have the things in place. They don't have the therapy. They don't have the friends. They don't have anything. Especially people who come from fucking nothing. They tell you, man, poor people can be some of the most dangerous people if you give them money. Because they come from nothing. And they got nothing. A man with nothing to lose is one of the most dangerous people, man. (sighs) But. Anyway. I'm just here to say, man, I hope we can get this under control, but I just, I'm going to have to go with, um, I don't know if it was Moist Critical or if it was uh, Ordinary Gamers who said it, but, oh, no, 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 actually, it was Spencer Cornelia. Shout out to Spencer Cornelia. I talk to him every now and then. He's a cool guy. Um, He made a video not too long ago talking about Jack. And he made a good point. I don't think in real real life streaming will ever stop until it reaches this boiling point. You know, people, I don't even want to say it, but we know what's going to get start getting streamed, right? We know exactly what's about to start getting streamed in real life streaming. We know where it's going. And I'm not talking about uh, corn. I'm not talking about nudity. I'm not even talking about the people who decide to do stuff with corpses. We know what comes next. When people's 
just take a step with me right quick. What do we know about people who want attention? Who is the certain person or individual who wants a lot of attention? We see these people go out and do the most heinous things because they want attention. Now put that same person who we know we've seen in the past who wants attention so bad and they want people to know what they're about to do. They'll get on Facebook and say, hey, I'm about to go do this. They'll tell a friend, hey, don't do this because I'm going to be here that day trying to be subtle here or I'm trying not to just come out and say it. But those individuals who like that kind of attention or they want to make a spectacle of what they're about to do. Those are your next in real life streamers. It's going to be bad. We're going to see something horrific, horrific with this stuff. But I don't know if these streaming services give a fuck because all they care is about money. Yeah, they'll ban somebody every now and then. Especially if it's a woman, you know damn well they're not banning them. Except for a couple of the days. But some of these men are getting away with it now. Some of these men are making so much money for these companies, they have no choice but to keep them. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on this. Uh, I'm pretty disgusted. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, to you young man who made this video on this young lady, fuck you. And I mean that with so much disrespect.